NBC5 medical expert, Dr. Robin Miller, joining us now for this week's Focus on Health. Thanks so much for being here, Dr. Miller. Thanks for having me. Let's get to our first question. All right, is there a particular type of food that will help me to age healthfully? There is, and it may surprise you. A study of over 1,600 people who are 49 years or older were followed for 10 years. Their diet was monitored along with their health issues. Those who had consumed the highest amount of fiber had an increase of 80% likelihood of living a long and healthy life compared to those who consumed little fiber. They were less likely to develop hypertension, diabetes, dementia, depression, and disability as well. Okay, so if we're heading to the grocery store, what are some good sources of fiber that we need to put in the basket? Vegetables, fruit, and whole grains. Okay, so easy enough. Yes. And our second question, do women who participate in religious services live longer? Yes, a study of over 74,000 women over 20 years found that those who attended religious services more than once a week were found to be at a 33% lower risk of all-cause mortality during the follow-up period compared to those who never went. In addition, women who attended services were also found to be at a 27% lower risk of death from heart disease and a 21% lower death of cancer than those who never went. Wow, okay, so why do you think going to religious services has such an impact? I think spirituality is incredibly important in health. Mm, Whether you believe in God or nature or whatever, it's really important. It's the belief. It's the belief. Wow, impressive, those mm -hmm. stats. It's huge. Themselves. Yeah, okay. All right, our last question, can stem cells repair the brain after a stroke? It sure is looking that way. 18 people who are around age 61 and who had experienced a stroke six months to three years prior underwent a stem cell transplant by drilling a hole in their skull and injecting cells taken from the bone marrow of two donors. Patients were monitored with brain imaging, blood tests, and clinical exams. Within a month, patients started to improve and the improvements were sustained for up to two years. People in wheelchairs were walking and patients were able to use arms that were previously useless. Wow, that's incredible. It's amazing. So could this be useful for other forms of brain injury? Yes, and more, more specifically, traumatic brain injury, which is hard for many people to recover from. So right. hmm. this is pretty exciting. Yeah, wow, absolutely. incredible, mm -hmm. right, very nice. Okay, we wanna let you know that you can send your questions to Dr. Robin Miller right there at the address on your screen, or better yet, email them in, Miller at kobi5.com. Look for the answers to your questions right here next Tuesday night. Dr. Miller, thank you so much. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Matt Jordan's up next with your full weather forecast. But first, take a look at what's coming up tonight in primetime.